Hey everybody, I am Joe Tobiasen, a wedding nonprofit and elopement photographer based in Seattle, Washington. And I thought I would finish off this year by showing my 10 favorite photos of the year, just as a way to recap the stuff that did happen, the good things and all that. But if we're gonna do that, I probably should have a drink and therefore I'm gonna make my favorite drink I learned this year, which is called the Gold Rush. So in order to do that, you need some ice and then it is two ounces of bourbon, which I don't know, that looks about two. Then, then you need one ounce of simple syrup. That simple syrup is actually made with um, honey rather than with sugar, and that just gives it that gold rush taste. And then when I finish off, it's supposed to be three quarters of a three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. We'll just kind of estimate right in there. Shake. Oh, that's really good. Alrighty, so we're starting off with my first photo here, and this is one that I took on an engagement session with a couple at Stevens Pass here in Washington, and I was really excited about that. I mean, this was back in Feb uh, early February, probably, and coronavirus was just starting to be kind of a thing we were hearing about but like nobody thought it was going to be an issue here and so we went up we went like in the mountain and then we went back country beyond it so with beacon uh, shovel probe all the important things and then we hiked out to do this one particular run which ended up being really fun really, really good powder but along the way these photos of the couple hiking this knife uh, ridge line in that morning sunlight was just super super fun and something that felt really unique as i was making those photos just because i don't know we've all seen like mountain engagement photos like i mean i've taken a lot of them and i really love them but this felt something unique and felt different and felt like you know it's kind of walking that line between like commercial photography and wedding photography in a really unique and fun way um, and just the joy of their faces as we were being out playing in the mountains really shone through in this image and no, i really like it here's the second image and i'm definitely i'm not really like ranking this or anything i'm just going through the 10. So this is my second photo and this is probably my favorite photo of the me and Lena during the quarantine project I've been working on. Um, which actually this was really early. This is probably within two weeks of getting started on it. And but I just I love the the pose of us together. I love the chaos of everything both with like the lighting structure and showing our house and that's our old house that's we don't we don't live there anymore um but also like with her, the soccer ball on the ground her little lantern other toys and stuff and so really showing this weird this cool way of putting a studio portraiture environmental portraiture and showing the life that we're living all into one photo um and just the lighting on the black and white just turned out so good on this so yeah, this is one of my favorites of that project. I guess I'm not going chronologically, <laughs> whoops. So this one definitely was taken before because this was in Palm Springs, which is uh, obviously not Seattle. And therefore that was traveling before quarantines began. And the previous photo was in the, anyway. Um, <clears throat> I just really love the, 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 the bright light and the balance that this photo took out. This is also on film. This is, this is on Portrait 400 on the Mia 6, and it was taken really in pretty middle of the daylight, um, which can be difficult and can be tricky to work with. But I just am so, I love the way that the shadow balance turned out, that those highlights, you can still see the, the mountains beyond, and just how it glows looking through these mid-century modern uh, houses here with the palm trees and just the framing, especially using the square frame, just worked so, so well in this image. So I would be remiss if I didn't put my own sister's wedding in this top 10. Um, and this is my favorite photo I took of the two of them together on that day. Uh, I think I made some really unique photos of both James and Callie, but this is my favorite of them together, just to put them out in the field behind the, behind our family cabin and uh, to have this moment of their, their, their tender care together and just the way that the lighting, the colors and everything on that film photo were just came together so perfectly. This one was taken on my RZ67, also with Portra 400. And that one was edited. I, that one actually didn't do the editing myself or the, the developing. I paid to, to be done at Indie Film Lab. And they did a really good job. And then I just gave a little bit more contrast just to tweak it a little bit. Um, 
And so, yeah, I love the way that it balances all the way through this image and how James's suit pops really, really cool. This is definitely one of my favorite photos I've ever taken of Lena, and I've taken a lot of them. Um, so it ends up in the list because outside of working, outside of taking photos for my job, I obviously, and uh, outside of the, the, the projects I'm doing, I just take a lot of photos just to, to, to document life and try to take those photos that feel like an epic representation of her childhood. And this is that to me. This is her. This is <laughs> with her little unicorn towel riding on her, her, uh, her little car scooter thingy in, a, in the house and it just the way the lighting's falling and just her, her intense, I, I, just a very real face that she gave me in this moment. Um, that was one of those photos as I was like preparing the camera, getting the film right, getting the, the RZ focused, just praying like, just please let this turn out, please let this turn out, please let this turn out. And uh, just <clears throat> is a photo that I think will be one that we'll look on for her entire life as a representation of this age and will contribute to that kind of trajectory of how we remember our daughter during time. Gold Rush, man. Mm. So good. So this is another photo that I took on my RZ67. This time was in California, in Southern California for a wedding at the ocean at sunset. Um, it was also on Portrait 400, but I just love the way that the double exposure worked in this photo. The way that I was able to superimpose the first photo of the couple in the base and then have another one of them um, higher up. Or maybe I did it the other way. I don't, I don't remember which one I took first, <laughs> uh, but either way, just the way that it, it shows both their connection and then their their these are both really ambitious people and so having a photo that both shows a, one image that is trying to show their connection to each other and then a second photo that is trying to show their forward thinking and that's why i have them looking to the right that's the traditional like looking forward looking to the future direction that we go i mean that's why you read to the right all those kind of things um and so having that same mindset why they're they're epically looking off that direction into the sunset into their future together i just think that the image really pulled together really nicely so to that wedding uh, actually i actually road tripped down the coast and then back up through eastern Eastern California, Western Nevada, and then Eastern Oregon and home. And this was my favorite photo I just took on the personal side of things. Um, this was with my Mamiya 6 using uh, Ilford HP5. And I absolutely love this framing. I love the way that the road uh, pulls through the frame in kind of an S curve. It's kind of center weighted, but it also pulls off to the side there, but it feels like it's balanced with the mountains on the side and the way that it cross cuts into almost kind of a V shape between the mountains and the signposts. And just, it feels really balanced, especially in a square format. And I think that that really turned out really well. And I love that the, the subtle sky color, the way that there's the the clouds are white, but you can still see just a little bit of that blue. But on the color ones, it often felt overly blue. And so in the black and white, I feel like the muted color turned out really nicely. And it just feels very out of time. Like, and especially that was one, one thing I really felt on that road trip as I was driving to Eastern, Oregon, Eastern, Eastern California, Western Nevada. I was like, what era am I in? And this image really feels like it kind of mimicked that and feeling something that could have been from the pioneering days of photography from you know, 1890, 1910, could be from the 60s, or obviously it could have been from 2020. And that's really one thing that I really enjoy about this image. Another favorite wedding photo of the year was this one that was on at Cape Mears in Western, uh, in the, the Oregon coast. And I love the sunset glow in this couple and the way that we were able to isolate them. And the, this haze had come in and was being lit by the sunset, but it was still high enough that it just made the whole world just kind of glow, this bright color. And so for exposing for their shadows, just created this, this just ethereal, almost kind of like in the movies when they have like a purgatory or something like that. Or So it's like in the matrix, like the construct or whatever, where it's a, kind of that nothingness. It just created this, this endless nothing feel, but you just get that hint of the mountains, just the hint of the water, and it just perfectly encapsulated in, in a time where um, like weddings are, have to feel really intimate and have to feel like your own space, but there's some sort of weird intimacy of big empty spaces that are all yours. And it's not like we were the only people on the beach that day, but the way that that light helped, it really 
pushed away everybody else. It really felt like it was just their intimate ceremony happening. And this, this image really pulls me into that intimacy, the joyfulness, the, free of, the freedom of their bare feet, and just the joy of their wedding day. This image is probably from my other favorite engagement session of the of the year, which I mean, it shouldn't really be surprising that my two favorite engagement sessions were on top of mountains. Um, and so this one we'd gotten up at um, before sunrise for their their hike up here at Artist Point, which really to call it a hike is hike. But uh, we walked around and just to have the light cascading over with just a hint of the fire smoke really created this 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 feel of otherworldliness that felt like we were living in the video game mist from the early 90s and stuff and just was was again is one of those moments that felt like we had it all to ourselves even though we didn't and with that having these two people who just love being in the mountains they love doing epic things together and so rather than trying to have a photo that forces them to always be together always be touching doing a thing that feels more natural as they are walking together they're enjoying this together close to each other but aren't don't have to necessarily be touching in the same way that you always would and so it's just that we're in it's it's a different part of their story and i feel like it really shone through in this image of of how they are connected to each other and to this place or this is my last one of the, my last favorite image of the year and that's really this one and it's all because of that dress um i am so so amazed by her choice to to, to, to throw out the white dress and to instead pick this goldenrod color and the way that the wind just whipped it and the spray from the waterfall in this photo just picked it up and lifted it in such a perfect way. But to, on top of that, to have the ripples of the wind, a little bit of dampness in it, but then to see her kind of like playing playful joy of the dress and his intimate gaze into his his now wife and how definitely you can see in his face how much he loves her and to put it all together into this photo just feels so perfect for me it feels like the best encapsulation of what a couple what 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 i like to show in couples which is people doing things that feel like them that feel maybe like them turned up to 11 just like a little bit more a little bit extra but also to to to, to show that that intimacy and to show that connection in in a way that is just theirs to enjoy. <clears throat> well, uh, I'm gonna stop talking now because I've shown you my 10 favorite images. I'm gonna play this out showing off a couple honorable mentions that I also like, and I've got a little bit more drink. So with that, cheers to the end of 2020 and even more so, cheers to a new year. <laughs>